G'day guys, Duck and Tiger here, the Tiger from Down Under, and this week I've got a really awesome toy review uh, to do this week. So this week I received a really awesome toy. It recently came out in the show. Um, I guess you could say it's a power-up weapon. Um, if you haven't been keeping up, I won't spoil much, but let's just say in a couple of episodes ago, one of the recently new Ryu Souls... Um, left us, even though he only had one episode as a good guy. It's funny how they do that, isn't it? Hmm. Anyway, so basically, yeah, if you don't know what happened, basically, uh, this person passed away and basically gave the power up to Ryu Red, or Korn, as the uh, Ryu Souls person's name is. So Ryu Red has now got his power up. And it looks freaking awesome. I sort of had a feeling this was going to happen. Um, just by the way the look of the armor is, how it's come about, I had a feeling this is how it might happen, but not in the way it did. So how they have done it is really, really well done. Now you're probably going dark and... Okay, stop yammering. Just get to the toy review. Cool. Well, I'll just do that then. So this week, I will be reviewing the Ryu Soldier, Ryu Soldier, DX, um, Claw, I guess. <laughs> and there it is. Um, I absolutely freaking love it. It is so cool. So there is Ryu Red in his new power-up form with the Claw in hand. Very, very, very cool, very well designed uh, concept. So you do get a changer key, soul, whatever you want, to put into it. So yes, yeah, on the side, there it is there, without the uh, soul in it, which looks really cool. On the other side, there is Ryu Red with the soul there. It's pretty straightforward. On the back, Ryu Red powered up, put it in the changer. So, insert, press, transform, self-explanatory, and then press the button, pull the trigger, and you do a finisher. Freaking cool, like that effect. You can also, like it says, you can put in different Ryu Souls for different attacks. Sadly, I do not have the, uh, the ice one, but I do have both uh, flame and electric and other different reuse souls. So we'll definitely look at those today. Not all of them. I don't want to go through every single one, but we'll go through a couple. But yeah, there you go. You can power it up, do a finisher. Uh, the soul with that can do something as well. Supposedly, uh, I don't know, but we will have a look into it. So that should be pretty interesting. So yeah, back on the front. Put a thing, flips open. Just like it says. So we're going to look at that pretty much today. So yeah, I'm look, really been looking forward to this toy. Um, probably one of the most interesting concepts designs. Again, now you're probably going a bit dark and uh, Super Sentai is not really normally known to have power-ups. This is true. However, I think they've realised that it's probably good to give it up so it gives them more... Uh, give them a change because again they are leading into a new era they need to try something different and I think this is a good little power up now whether it's only just Ryu Red who gets to use it maybe some of the others we don't know whatever the case may be I think it's a really cool concept it goes from being a sword person to a claw um, and then being dinosaurs it would sort of make more sense but that's just me all right so enough prattling on about the look the box and what I think of it Let's actually get into it. So, there they are. Um, I freaking love it. I think that's really cool. So that is the Ryu Soul Key, whatever you want to call it. Um, love that it is a like a powered up logo, which looks really really sick. Um, nothing on the back. And as you can tell, there is something inside. If we try and pop this open. Nice little mask, I think. But very, very cool nonetheless. Yeah, that's a really cool thing. And then, obviously, you have the claws. 
Um, again, really, really well designed. Uh, love the green, love the red, love the thing. The actual claws kind of resemble the swords a little bit, obviously because of the spikes, but it definitely feels like a Ryu Soul weapon. Um, it's also got the logo on there as well, which makes sense. On the back, button to, to eject the souls and the switch to turn it on. On this other side, that is for when you have the sword and you want to do a dual finisher, so that's really cool. And then, like pretty much most weapons, there's another... So, if you guys are aware with, um... What was it? Uh, Grease, Kevin Rider Grease's one, his, uh... Gun... Poker thing, whatever it is, had a similar little thing like that as well. Um... And another... Sentai toy actually had it as well, but for the life of me, I cannot remember. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Max Russo Chenja! So you press the button. Pretty straightforward, nothing like that. So yeah, basically, if you click that with the sword as well, you don't have to. Um, as you saw, I could just do it myself. Um, it does a certain power-up attack with, I guess, if you use the sword, would give you a dual slash attack, in a sense. I don't know. Again, it hasn't come up in the show per se. Um, I'm sure it will eventually, but at the moment, that's what it is. Uh, again, I really like it. Really, really cool. So, again, being someone that is of tiger uh, claws for me, really cool idea. Now, that's, again, there's not much else to it. If you press, you get little quotes. Freaking love that. Now, you're probably going dark, and that's the exact same. Supposedly there is, I think, four all up, and it's how I've... Well, maybe it's all the same, I don't know. But you get a few quotes from Ryu Red. Uh, which I think that's a really cool feature. I'm glad they've done something like that because, again, at the moment, the connection Ryu so or Ryu Red has with this and what happens makes sort of more sense. Um, but yeah, I, I freaking love this. I think this is a really, really cool addition to the show. Um, and again, I'm hoping we'll see a bit more of it in the show. All right, now you're probably thinking, Darken, we get it. You really like it. But can you get on with it? And I'm like, well, all right, fine, I'll get in. So basically, in the show. Ryu Red does his thing, fights with it, then Ryu change. Now you probably now the thing is though, he doesn't have to be already transformed. This is what we found out. Um, now you're probably going, but had but it, it wouldn't make sense. Isn't it a power up? It has to go over. True. However, he showed in a most recent episode, he can change straight into this with just this. So basically, well, I wouldn't say with just this. So he basically put it, his Ryu Soul in his changer, and then he put this straight in. Once he said Ryu change, he was able to go into full form of this straight away. Um, really, really cool idea. That's a really cool concept. Again, again, they're just proving that they are getting better and better with it. All right, enough about me prattling. Let's do this. So, as you can see, there are two tracks. Now you probably got two tracks, so does the key have two? No, it just has the one. Basically this one, uh, it's able to read and it knows 
that it's just the main transformation. The two in there are for reuse soles. So for now, I'll just do the main one for now, and then we'll try it with some uh, reuse soles that I have here. Okay? Cool. So, we're about to transform. Now, ah, if I can get it right. Real change. Nice little jingle. And then you press the button. So there you go, now you are Max Riuso Red. I absolutely love that. Look at the freaking... Now, at first I didn't couldn't work out what this was, but if you look at it, it actually looks like a face, like a dino's face. So if a dinosaur came up to you and was like, that, that is kind of what you would get. Um, I freaking love it. Now, it's a lot more beefier. It also sort of sounds similar to uh, Guy Soul's uh, Slash as well. Obviously because it is more of a stronger attack, obviously now because you have transformed it is going to be a lot stronger. You are powered up in a sense. If we do the button on the side again. Press the trigger. So you could sort of hear a bit of a ding ding. So it's obviously a little bit, a little bit more metallic uh, slash noise. So you're probably going dark, and that is that it. Just the simple noise and transformation. Guys, come on, you should know better by now. I'm a toy reviewer. I should know this stuff. If you press it again, you do the finisher. So. Max So basically, uh, so Ryu Red when he does that, he does, he does, uh, I think it is like maximum something claw, maximum extreme claw, or eight. I know it's it's similar to Guy Souls, which is ancient claw, ancient edge slash or something like that. This one is a similar thing, but it was obviously with claws. Um, it basically just jumps forward and spins. Freaking awesome! I love it. Okay, so again, there's nothing much to it. Press it again. I just love how the music like dun, 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 dun. Alrighty, so that's it. There's not much else to it. Now, usually sometimes if you want to do more attacks, um, so if you wanted to do different attacks, say, and you wanted to have a bit more of a different power, seems fair enough. So what you would do on the back, press the red button, and take out said thing. Put that aside, let's just stick it here, that's fine. And I want to throw in some power-ups to help me, you know, do a bit more damage. So let's do that with the uh, Ryu Gold and Burning. Now you're probably going dark and why don't you just use other sorts. I'm going to try a few different ones that I have on hand. Um, like I said in one of my previous videos, I put these guys somewhere and I don't know where the rest of them are. <laughs> um, but these are the closest ones I have. So, we're going to try that. So, first off, we obviously put them in. And again, like I said, with the tracks, you just slide them in. If I can slide them in without having problems. And 
Trigger. So basically, whatever the attack, uh, whatever the souls you put in, you get a certain certain uh, attack to that. So obviously, I put in uh, burning and gold. So I got a little bit of a sort of a, an aqua and flame style attack. Probably not the most interesting attack, but it read it as amazing. If I press the trigger, that's about it. If I press. I think that's really, really cool. Um, again, pretty self-explanatory to get them out. So again, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see what else I can pull out of my uh, lovely little pocket here for souls. Ooh, what a perfect choices. So we now have the power soul. And I think, uh, yes, it's the blue soul, or the wind soul, spin soul, whatever you want to call it. So. So there you go, it does recognize different souls. So obviously it recognized that this was a Ryu soul and it was a power blow or power spin attack. And it does slightly change what you put in. Now you probably going, but Dark, and what would happen if you put in say one of the other power ups, say the uh, burn soul again? Well, why don't we find out and see what happens? So, press the button. I'll leave the power soul because I think that's kind of a good idea. So, we'll leave that in. I'm not pushing it in completely yet. And then, put the power one in. If I can get it in right. If I can. Alright, so. Trigger. So power up burn. Now you're probably going, but that didn't sound anything different. Yes, that is correct. You're probably wondering why that is. So let me explain. So basically, the Simps, uh, the Simpson, the the simple answer is this reads whatever goes into the first slot. So if you put in the power, say EK Soul. It reads it as a normal EK soul, just a normal attack ability. But if we put in, say, the burn one, which is a special power up one, it does a different one. So you get amazing with the power of style ones, and you get a basic one for a normal Ryu soul. Um, again, I don't know why that is. Again, I guess that's just the way they've um, designed it. Um, the thing is, though, you see in the show Ryu Red uses at least one, which I think is either the burn or the ice. Yeah, burn or ice, because that's what Ryu Red has. He, he uses those. So yeah. So he only uses that when he needs to. Normally he wouldn't have to, he just puts in whatever he has on hand. But yeah, again, I really, really like this toy. I think it's fantastic. Um, it's nice that they've decided to go, oh, let's put in an actual power up for a, uh, a uh, okay, before you do that, I'm gonna turn you off so I don't accidentally bump it again. Um, but it's good that they're giving him a power, like, again, I probably prattle on about this enough on other videos, but like the American Power Rangers, they always seem to give the Red Ranger a power-up. Uh, I know we've seen it in both uh, SPD, we've saw it in, um, uh, what was it, Dino, Dino Force? Dino Force? 
That sounds right, Dino Force. Yeah, whatever. Um, we saw that in... Uh, anyway, you sort of get the idea, basically. There's always... The Americans were sort of always the ones that threw in a power up when the original Sentai didn't have one. Um, they have been doing them in previous ones. I know last season's one had one, the one before that had one, up until, I think it's Koryujan with King. King had one as well, which was the Cannibal, and that was freaking awesome. So, yeah. But, in any case, I think this is a very, very good um, addition to Ryu Soul. Again, it is a nice little change from the normal uh, having to stick it in to a mouth, close it, and chomp it. Very, very different concept. Very, very different design. Either way, very well worth it. And I think you guys should get it if you are enjoying the show. Um, I picked this lovely, awesome fellow up from my good friend Tucker at Kutsetsu Toys Japan. So definitely go check him out if you want to get anything Ryu Soul, Carbon Rider, or if you want to get something Ultraman as well. He does all that on his website. Link will be in the description below. You can also get this from Amazon, eBay, but be wary of their pricing. You can also get this from Omoshi Cafe as well as well as Hobby Link Japan. Definitely check them out, guys, if you are enjoying the show. Um, and that, I think, will pretty much do it. So, put this in here so I don't lose it. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Every little bit does help. And I really do appreciate everyone that has been liking these videos. Um, Quick shout out to all the guys over at the Super Sentai slash Power Ranger Amino channel. Thank you guys for all your support, liking the videos. It re I really do appreciate it, guys. You guys are always there supporting me. So thank you so much, guys. If you want guys to see any more future videos, whether it be Super Sentai, Carbon Rider, or anything of the sort, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can also hit the bell to let you know also when I do put out another video or if I ever go live, which I probably might one day. Um, I'm looking to probably, hopefully one day, head back to Japan and do a video with my good friend, Tucker. So maybe, just maybe, we might do a live stream together sometime. Um, but again, that will be something that we will have to plan for future sake. But yeah. But again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Dark and Tiger, the Tiger from Down Under. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, ciao.